Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever time it happens to be. This is Nellie Deutsch and I'd like to walk you through the ELT Techniques Active Listening Practice class. This is a post-class task. And since it's um, active listening, this is the first step. Here is the link. Uh, you can see it at the top. So there it is. It's connectingonline.ning.com and that's the group. It's ELT Techniques Active Listening Practice. So let's go in and see what's going on. Okay, this is called a Ning. It's a social network. It's sponsored by WizIQ, and it's free for anyone and everyone to join. As teachers, you can create groups of your own and start inviting your students the way I've invited you. All right, so let's take a look at what you need to do. All right, so uh, here are the instructions for the pre-class, even though you'll get it, and the post-class. The post-class is also available on a Google Docs, all right, if you'd like to access it there. And here is the course if you want to get back to the LT course on WizIQ. All right, so here is the post-class task. It's not that complicated. It's actually quite easy. You can do it at your own pace. No hurry, all right, even though it does have to be in by, uh, I believe, December 20th. But uh, all right, so let's take a look post-class task and I'm reading all right so you may create a Google Drive doc the way uh, I've done it by going into Google Drive but you can also use a plain word whatever or text you can simply add it right here and share your responses in a blog post right here and I'll show you how the post task is divided into three sections self-evaluation of yourself as a listener listening practice which means that you actually practice after your self-evaluation and then applying what you've learned in a lesson plan so the first step is to take a survey so that you can evaluate your listening skills based on the survey next is the listen to the following podcast all right which is available when you click on the link and then what you're going to do is you're going to write a lesson plan using the listening podcast and you may use the British Council template which is really easy all right so let's click on these first of all here's the survey it's also on right here all right it's on a website just take it follow the instructions next once you take it you'll be able to go to the next step which is listening to the following podcast all right and here it is and you just listen to it all right I'm not going to do it right now you'll do it after my class and then based on the podcast which is really short it's about I think a minute less than a minute actually 60 minutes exactly uh, because it's a 60 minute idea and then you click on here which is the template from the BBC on a listening activity notice it's a listening activity you might benefit from taking a look at it and you just follow follow do the same thing if you wish Otherwise, you may use your own template for a lesson plan, but this is really easy. There's the play. Everything is set up for you, which makes it super easy, and you get a chance to uh, listen and practice. You can also download it and practice a listening lesson that you may use for your students as well from the BBC, the British Council. And that's it. I think you're going to have fun. I know you're going to have fun. So join us. Notice uh, how it's done. All right. So down here, you'll be able to click on add a discussion and then add your post task. OK, 
okay, uh, work, ABC. And then you can respond to others. That's one option and it's uh, highly recommended. You can also alert us by writing your comment right here. Okay, so comment if you have any questions, you may use this comment box for questions. You may also start a discussion on questions. Okay, quite free. Now, once you have an account, notice that you go to my page. You'll have a page of your own, and that's where you'll have a chance to blog. So let's go to my page first to get an idea what it looks like. My page. Everybody has a page once they uh, create an account. Notice you have the, and this is connected. Whatever you write here is connected. You can share discussion, event, photos, and so on. So, um, and you notice that your group will be under your page. All right, so uh, here's a page. All right, this is your page. You can make friends, you can like, all right? You can uh, have fun, actually. And then notice that you get the blog in two places. You can create a blog. I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. You can share it with everyone, with the world, with your friends, or just yourself. All right, so let's click on blog post. You can click here, or I showed you in the heading. You write a title, and then notice here you've got uh, a chance to hyperlink links. Okay, uh, if you don't know much about technology, these are basic things. You can add a video, an image. All right, and here is the editor. Just add everything. If you'd like it to be featured, click on the feature, and then you publish it. And notice what the options are for uh, for this. Okay, here it's a little bit larger. Notice what the options are. Okay, and this is really, really important. You can change them as you go. All right, you can add a link. You can decide on what link you'd like, which is nice. You can add tags for other people to get it if you want to publish it to the world. You can uh, decide that you want to post it now or choose a date by clicking on the date. You can share it on Facebook, Twitter, Notice these are, and then you can share it with everyone. I love this because some of us are very open and would like things to be shared with everyone, but you can also decide that you want to share just with your friends on this particular website, Ming, or just me, which means just you. Okay. And then you can decide who can comment on this. Okay. So uh, who can comment on it right here? Lots of reading, which is nice for our students. And then once you get it, um, you can preview it and eventually publish it whenever you're ready. All right, so uh, you can also keep editing it as you go. Even if you publish it, you can go in. You can save it as a draft. Okay, so these options are very, very important. Okay, so you can also save it as a draft. All right, and that's it. If you have any questions, uh, please share them right here in the group. So how do we go to groups? Well, it's quite easy. We've got the headings at the top. All right, so uh, my page, notice, blogs. You can also chat, by the way, it's really a lot of fun. Just click on it. Forget the donations, no donations necessary. Here's the group. All right, so let's go into the group. Everything is completely free. Let's click on the group and go back to your group. Okay, your group will appear. Here are the groups. And then you've got a choice here. Notice you can join other groups, but go into my groups. So that's the group that you join. You can see it here as well. Lots of options. You can't miss anything. All right, so either my groups or it's right there. So for convenience sake, let's just click on it. Okay, so far to have joined. I haven't really published this. So have fun. I'll be adding the video everywhere. So grab it and listen. This is Nelly Deutsch, hoping and praying that you have fun. So no stress, fun, fun. You gotta enjoy whatever you do in this world. So have fun. If you have fun as teachers, your students will too.